Welcome back folks, Off Grid Living with David Knoll and here we are on another epic adventure. So, I don't know if I've gotten myself in over my head on this one, on this project, but I had a absolutely, I'm just getting in this thing for the first time, <laughs> amazing gift given to me. And it's this, I'm believing 70s model camper trailer. And she needs some work. She needs uh, a lot of love task of the trailer so what I'm doing is taking this stuff off the front looks like a protector like membrane thing to protect it from rocks and all that jazz and I tell you it's actually coming off not too bad just stick the old grandpa's old chisel in her now what I'm probably gonna do on the front here I'll let you in on a secret I'm probably gonna do some uh, reclaimed wood on the front of this or some stained pine Varnished up just to make it. Uh, I think the only way I'm going to be able to add any kind of glam glam to this uh, sweet darling is to add some reclaim to her. Keep the white white, keep the silver silver, but add some reclaim or some nicely finished pine. But that is a ways away, let me tell you. We bought this product, so I want to go step by step. Miles, actually, the sun is so bright here, eh, bud? Oh, yeah. We bought, um, we vacuumed the whole thing out today and cleaned it. And I got up on the roof and I noticed there's a lot of big dips here on the roof. So uh, what we're doing is, see all the ridges? So there was water sitting in those ridges. But for, I'll probably build a roof on this, like on mine. But here, we're gonna probably, uh, we're gonna do this plastic coat stuff. So check this out. There's actually a can over there. It's called Plast, P-L-A-S-T, coat. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. It goes on like paint. Um, so what I'm gonna do is the whole top. They've siliconed uh, a lot. They've siliconed well, a lot of the camper. And I'm gonna go on every seam with this stuff. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, finally. We haven't had a lot of nice weather. But as you can tell, I'm going over all the old tire that they did. And uh, sorry for that. All the old tire that they did. And we're gonna go over this vent entirely because it doesn't. it's an old bathroom vent. We don't need it anymore. So here we are, folks, check this. Anywhere that uh, they had silicone prior to, I am covering in plastic coat. Oh, plastic coat. Rubber roof coating, which is also good for metal, wood, cement, plastic. Pretty awesome. So anyway, yeah, I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving her a really good once over. It's supposed to be some rain rocking in here tomorrow or tonight. So I gotta get this on. Uh, there's grass growing on this window shield. I'm gonna plastic coat it. I'm gonna plastic coat up here where the old silicone was. And I've plastic coated all the way around the top, like yay, and the back. Took the old tail lights off her. Mind you, I still have a lot of siliconing to do. But you can tell, plastic coat around the lights, old lights off, ground down the things there, the, the rim and the bumper, she's ready for a bit of paint. Um, Plastic coat. It goes on really awesome. This stuff's been in the sun a bit too long, but hey, I'm using her at 150 bucks a gallon. I am gonna use it. So there we have it. I'm ready to uh, doll this little darling up here. Fix up the front. This thing will be then be rain ready. And we gotta go to grandma's for pizza. Hang tight, tune in. Thank you. So let's take a look inside. So we went with the ocean blue for the trims and the doors and it was white so we spray painted that on and then we actually used a rolled on aluminum paint metal paint uh, for which was already aluminum turned out amazing that stuff i cannot brag enough about how good that aluminum paint is um, then did a little bit of uh it was a reclaimed flooring look down here and this is vinyl flooring like composite flooring which is going to hold up really well to the weather we siliconed all the joints went up top plastic coated the roof coat of paint um two coats of plastic coat actually and then come around here there's somebody hiding in here this is how we relax out here on the homestead this kid is tuckered let me tell you but we'll close him back up in his cocoon and then did a little reclaimed floor on this wood um, on this window back here because this window was actually gone and there was still a screen so i replaced the screens in the in the whole camper and this one here did replace the screen and put that on winter's coming and i thought it looked kind of cool as well got a little barbecue a mini barbecue for miles he's going to learn how to grill himself up some food 
Um, be a good life lesson for him here, just to you know basically teach him how to be a little more self-sufficient himself. So let's take a tour inside, and uh, and I'll show you what we've done. So we gutted anything that was looking rotten. I still have to lay some flooring down. I still am a little undecided on what I want to use. So for now, we're just going to leave it as it is and just threw a little throw rug here in the entranceway just for our dirty old shoes. Um, um, so everything's been gutted, cleaned. Inside of cabinets and cupboards has all been um, washed out and painted. We actually laid a little bit of flooring down here that I had left over and then used this kind of, it almost has a purple tinge to it or a light blue tinge. Uh, in the paint, which is really, really nice. There was a stereo here, so I covered it with some reclaim. And then up here, which I can mount something to, maybe a skull or something cool. And then up here was uh, was an old light, and I might mount a solar light to that, or a battery-operated light. I uh, got this really cool um, uh, hook with these bent feathers on it. I think it's beautiful. My mom gave that to us um, the other day. She just didn't have a, a spot for it anymore, so I gladly would take classic looking stuff like that. I think it, it molds really good into our, our surrounding. As you can tell, you get up in the morning, this is your view when you're sitting having your coffee out looking the, overlooking the soy field. So you come down and through here, I hung a little metal plate up there. Um, I think it's kind of decorative. I might put some lettering on it or whatnot. We're not going to use any of the appliances in here. So I've cut the power and any of the plumbing and any of the gas lines completely out of here. Just, because I'm too scared that they're old and uh, and too unpredictable. So it's a complete off-grid system. It's not right on, off any uh, fossil fuels or crude oils or anything like that. It's going to be, um, and the stove too, I was a little bit leery on. So let's start our tour actually in the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Laid a little bit of that composite flooring down and Miles actually we stripped some pallet wood apart and Miles did the staining on the for the trim nice black stain and we zinzered uh, the whole thing as well as a primary coat which I talked about earlier have some pretty cool kept the retro light up uh, some little decorative toilet papers and stuff and then we have the Lugaloo toilet which I'll put uh, cedar sawdust in and then use that in the humanuring pile but it's nice that in the nighttime Miles won't have to go outside at all in the bugs or be around the bears or any risk he can just completely stay self-isolated in here and that'll be great and make me feel a lot better as well but super cute little bathroom i'm really happy with it enough to do your business but yeah the whole camper was was zinzered which was is a mold paint mold odor uh water damage smoke damage stuff like that it covers it up seals it up the ceiling turned out amazing uh, did a coat of zinzer on everything and then two coats of the paint. So there's the bathroom. And then you just roll through. You have different storage cupboards and, and all that jazz. That's the garbage in there. We had to pick up some essentials today for Miles' first night weekend in here. So as you can tell, we've got super healthy stuff going. Miles painted all the interiors and the cupboard doors. Have tons of health food. Over here, he snuck some wagon wheels into the cart, and that's cool, some chocolate chip cookies. Got the healthiest thing in this whole camper right now is those crackers, that's it. Uh, because I know this stove is really safe, the uh, Coleman camp stove, I put it in here for making our coffee and, and heating up any stuff that we wanna have for lunch or supper. Um, not a big fan of trusting old appliances in, in campers. Um, it's just not my thing. I'd just rather not take the chance, to be honest with you. And then come over here, everything's been super cleaned up. Uh, it's got this really nice, actually, aluminum backsplash, which I loved. I'm going to get some maybe Tasso metal cleaner and try and polish that up. That's as clean as I could get it with a household cleaner. So then you come in here, you have a bottom bunk. So if I'm staying in here, that's where I'll sleep. And then the top bunk is where Miles will sleep. And when he's a little more comfortable being on his own in here, um, he'll take the bottom and... It'll be nice. We got the fan in here because it's still relatively hot, so we can hang that up. He really wanted his disco ball in, so uh, we still got that set up. As you can tell, there was like a, a film that they put on to, you know, block the windows out. I got it off that one side, and I actually had to use sandpaper to get it off. And this side, I just left it because what I might do is a dark tint on the back windows anyway. 
because when you sandpaper that off, you really scour the windows up. I don't like it. So I decided just to leave it to, you know, kind of eliminate the chance of scratching the window up and causing it serious damage. Like it was on here as well on the kitchen window and it really did score up the, the window, but I had to get it off. It just looked terrible. Um, so yeah, roll through here. I kept the stove and the fridge door the same color just to give it that retro look and it's still in really good shape, the enamel on it. So that's like the only original thing left in here as far as color goes. Uh, Miles has this super bright light in case he has to come and see me. And we're gonna have radios as well so that he can radio me when I'm in the house and like I'm only 30 feet away. You can see Blanche and Elmer over there fighting for food. Chicken likes to eat dog food now. Um, yeah. Super roomy bunk up here for Miles to chill out or if anybody comes over. And then this table, kitchen table folds down as well and uh, into a bed. But we don't get a lot of guests, so I'm not foreseeing that being an issue. And then used a three inch, um, it was a full mattress topper actually for the mattress under here. I uh, got it on buy and sell for $80, super clean, really good shape and cut it. And that was enough to make two mattresses. I think it was a king size and it was enough to make the mattress down here and the mattress up here. So it worked out super well. But it is amazing when you get into a project how much work there is. You know, I initially you look at it and you always say to yourself, oh, I'm just going to throw a coat of paint on it and it'll look great. But then you get into screens, you get into the construction portion, you get into eliminating the old stuff, and then you get so far into it that you're like, oh, I'm just going to keep going a little nicer, a little nicer. But at the end of it, it's the way to do it. I mean, you can scrimp on it and do whatever. And this only costs, like this build... I got the paint. The paint was um, like a recycled paint. You can get it, you know, on sale for sometimes. I think I got mine for like $24 a gallon um, at a local flea market. It's great stuff. Um, the flooring, again, I think it was on for like $1.99 a square foot. That was great, great deal. But we did the whole camper basically for about $500. The most expensive thing about it was the plastic coat stuff for the roof, which was $150 for the gallon. And it went far. It went really far. I still have half a gallon left, so... In the spring, if I notice it's deteriorating, I'll give it another coat. Um, but we have, we've had a ton of rain and I've had no leaks in here yet, so it's it's great. But it really is amazing how much it takes up your time. Like it really, it's a lot of work. Like I said, 50 hours on this thing and steady hours, like not messing around and dawdling. It was really hard, hard giving her hours. Miles would come in here for five hours at a time and just go. It would just paint. And uh, I'm really proud of him. I, he, I could tell by the end of the, the painting that he'd gotten a lot better at it. And it was kind of learning how much these projects take, you know, when he's not here and I'm here and I'm doing this stuff. He really gets to realize, I think, how much effort goes into it and how much effort goes into homesteading and off-gridding and living a kind of creative lifestyle and uh, a lifestyle that you want. So it's like anything. It just takes a lot of time, but it was a good experience for him to know that you got to work for what you want. And if you want it to turn out nice, you got to spend the time and do the quality work. And he did. He was right on board with me and I was really proud of him. It shows me that he's on key and he's on point um, uh, for where he's supposed to be at as a, as an 11 year old, you know, I was really proud of him um, and I'm really proud of him. So this is our, this is our beauty camper right here, ready for its first night. We're going to spend the night in here tonight. And really looking forward to it. We've we've been working hard. I hope you uh, I hope you really enjoyed the video. It's probably a bit uh, it's a bit of a long video. I apologize for that. Um, but I mean, in order to get it all in uh, and to show you what needed to be done, well, it'd be a bit longer. But uh, yeah, thank you for t for tuning in and uh, supporting the channel. This channel is doing amazing. I'm so happy with it, and I love all the comments and. Um, and I'm learning a lot even from like, you know, people commenting and that's really interactive for me and that's what I wanted, you know, and a lot of positive feedback and and other off-graders too that are enjoying their journey and, and really loving it. And non-off-graders that are enjoying their journey and, and just, you know, are starting to um, implement little off-grid things into their day-to-day -day urban lives or rural lives. Uh, that's To me, that's amazing and that's what this is all about, you know. So thanks for tuning in and thanks for uh, subscribing and and being part of the journey with us. I hope you enjoy our little camper as much as, as we are. If you have any questions or concerns or, or anything, please feel free to, to shoot me um, a message and uh, or a comment, and I'll make sure I get back to you. Okay, thanks for tuning in, and bye for now. Happy camping.